Hey up. Foot light, good morning. So this is the final day for me in Tenerife. D day. Um, just thought I'd give you a little view of where it has been home for me for the last 18 years. I mean, Gaietas, the town, are only what, seven, eight, but Tenerife, 18 years. And this is what we get on a morning. I don't know if you'll pick it up on the camera, but there's, I think he's there, a little fishing boat doing his fishing. And over behind me, you'll have the sunrise, but we'll pick that up on this camera. As the old saying goes, the best camera that you've got is the one in your hand. How are you feeling? Nervous. Me too, and I'm yeah. not going where he's leaving me. Oh, God. So everything is getting packed. And uh, I'm going to work soon, so he's like at home alone. Well, I'll buzz there. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. just wanted to show you where we... Where we're saying bye to, are we mental? Let's turn around and show. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the camera, just flip the camera. So this is the marina. Um, you've got all your boats, jet skis, etc. down here. It's a, a fishing village. It's always been a fishing village, still is, but more touristic now. But for me, it's one of the more traditional towns. Mm. In Tenerife, it's like a little fishing village, but still... Operating. Yeah, and it's it's not commercial like Las Americas and uh, Los Cristianos. And they won't be able to see Mount Tady on this view, you know. The camera isn't going to pick it up. It did. Did it? Yeah. Yeah, it's up there. Did that tell you? Hang yeah. on, hang on. Tap the screen there. Oh, my God. It's right behind your head. It's behind my head, yeah. Let me get my head out of the way. There you go. There's, anyway. There's Mount Tady. <laughs> yeah. Dormant volcano. I don't know about dormant. La Palma went up, didn't it? We yeah, were dormant over. means it's sleeping, I not know. dead. So we're getting out while we can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we just thought we'd do a quick video. And uh, next one will be from Michael in wherever, on the ferry or in... No, no, Somewhere, I chance. Spain. I do want to document the journey because it is pretty mammoth. I mean, I'm travelling across the Atlantic and then across... Travelling across Spain and France isn't that big a deal, really, but doing it in a Fiat Panda is a bit of a challenge. My biggest concern, really, is the boat because I used to travel over... I've done the trip um, years ago in a Volkswagen Passat when I had one. And I did that, did that trip about four times, but that was when it was with Armas, and it was like a prison ship. It was just, the food was rank. But at the end of the day, you do what you gotta do. I'm just checking the wee man's not coming, because we moved a little barrier. We're not meant to be up here, we're being rebels. Yeah. We moved a little barrier, and he might come and give us a row. So we better go and finish packing. Yeah. So, guys, we'll see you after. Bye. See you later.